can you little fangirls out there still defend and support a band like Falling in Reverse when they have a lead singer like Ronnie Radke? How many things are you going to let him get away with before you go, oh, maybe that was just a little bit too far. Maybe he just took things a little tiny bit too far this time. Never. I'm convinced because I just watched a video of him kicking fans out left and right for having a negative opinion or saying something he didn't like and I heard all kinds of fangirls go, oh my god, yeah, you tell him, Ronnie. And then Ronnie Raggy says, you show me the respect I deserve. Well, let's go through some of the things you have done, Mr. Ronald Raggy, to determine whether or not you deserve the respect you think you deserve. I already made a video about him throwing microphone stands into the crowd. Did he ask them if they were okay? No, he didn't. Did he visit them in the hospital? No, he did. He just pranced around on the stage afterwards because he's Ronnie Radke and he's cool. He's a lead singer of a mediocre band with a mediocre fan base and he can get away with anything. Does a guy that deserves respect beat his girlfriend? Mr. Ronnie Radke did, but you'll just give him a pass. Oh, he just fell down the stairs. Oh, it's like uh, maybe he just landed on top of her. He, he fell down the stairs. He was probably trying to do something nice for her, and, and she had the temerity to turn him in for abuse. Oh, and they had the temerity to put a guy like Ronnie Radke in jail. Come on, she probably had it coming to her. The kind of guy that spits at fans in the crowd when they do something he doesn't like and flips them off. And now we see in Detroit a few nights ago, he had fans kicked out left and right while he screamed, You show me the respect that I deserve. I am convinced Ronnie Radke could drop trouser and pinch a loaf on all of your heads collectively and you would still cheer. You could have one of his steaming turds on top of your head, and he could be flipping you off in the process and saying that he sees you as nothing more than dollar signs, and you would still cheer and say, oh, is this going to be on the new album? Get that shit out of here. When's enough going to be enough? It's bad enough you're cheering for such a mediocre band in the first place, but I can give you a pass because most of you are prepubescent 14-year-old little girls, and you don't know any better. But those of you that do know better and should know better, when are you finally going to stop defending this guy? I went to the video, and you guys were vehemently defending him, saying he's trying to turn his, uh, trying to turn his life around, and defending the fact that he had a band kicked off the bill because he doesn't have the 40 to just say no to a band that just got arrested for a drug possession. Well, you know something, cousin? When you get arrested for drug possession, do you think you're going to have a shit ton of drugs on you when you're in a public forum like a concert tour? Yes, I See Stars was the band that these people were cheering for that got them kicked out. He had them taken off the bill, forcibly, because I'm Ronnie Radke and I'm trying to get clean. Number one, you could just say no if they started popping pills around you or shooting up heroin. And number two, do you really honestly think a band that just got nailed for something like drug possession is going to jeopardize their tour, jeopardize all the money they're going to be pulling in from merchandise and ticket sales by doing it again? It's a piss poor excuse and the fans that got fucked out of it knew it and that's why they were mad and you had them kicked out left and right. You had them kicked out. What kind of petty bullshit is that? You couldn't even do it yourself. You didn't have the balls to do it yourself. You went up to your big burly security guards. Those guys, kick them out. And make sure they show me respect next time. You're a douchebag. Roddy Radke, you deserve no respect. You deserve no adulation. You deserve no approbation. You deserve nobody praising your name to the sky. But you can do whatever you want. You know you can get away with it. You know why? Because you have an army of fangirls, a sea of fangirls that will defend you to no end. Oh, they will pull themselves in tight on those white horses and they will lead the charge of fangirls ready to defend your name. And the castle will never fall as long as they're around defending the holy name of King Ronnie Ratke. <laughs> Blow it out your ass, you simian. That pisses me off. Somebody should ban this guy for music. Next time a venue sees his name on the bill, they should not allow him to go. Spitting on people, throwing mic stands in the crowd, a woman beater. T putting shit on Twitter saying that he's the only band that matters on the entire bill. Kiss my ass. Hell, you only really started this band as a fuck you to escape the fate in the first place, and you were kicking people out with Escape the Fate t-shirts. Well, it's his tour, he can do what he wants. Yeah, but kicking out paying customers? All because they were chanting for the band that should have been there or kicked off for a bogus bullshit reason? 
Oh, Ronnie, you do what you do, boy. I'm gonna, I support you no matter what you do. You know what, ten years down the road, you guys are gonna look back at how stupid you were. And so help me God, you are going to vomit. You're gonna vomit wondering how you could have been such a dullard. Wondering how you could have praised a band full of as much dumpster sludge as Falling in Reverse. The only Falling in Reverse I want to see from this band is them falling in reverse on the fucking charts. And I hope that they no one's going to remember them in five years. And that's the good thing about this. Boy, that was a really, really shitty insult. But you know what? The second part you can remember. Forget about that first part. No one's going to remember them in five years. Which is all for the best, because Ronnie Radke will probably be working at McDonald's by that time, if he's not in jail for domestic abuse. You fangirls make me sick. Anybody that looks up to somebody like this and can't see their flaws. Even me, even people that like me, that don't want to point out any of my flaws, that want to take all the good and ignore the bad things. I hate that. It pisses me off. It infuriates me. Because I don't want to be seen like that. I want you to call me out on my flaws. I want you to say, hey, you made a mistake, and not have to fear it, like this guy, who, who now he has set the standard. If you say anything, if you do anything he doesn't like, it doesn't even have to be cheering for the band that was kicked off. He will take your ass and put you out on the street, like his mother. It's ridiculous. It's infuriating. And all of you should be fucking ashamed. Not for liking the music. You're, you're, you're entitled to like what you want. But for defending this guy, are you fucking kidding me? If this was anybody else, especially from a band you disliked, oh, you'd be doing the same thing I'm doing. You'd be doing the same thing I'm doing. So don't get up on your self-righteous high horses and say, oh my god, I can't believe you're doing this to poor Roddy Radke. Kiss my ass, you'd be doing the same thing. If Escape the Fate got into the kind of deep shit this guy has gotten into, you'd be on the hate bandwagon like that, and you know it. You won't admit it, but you know it. Pathetic, you make me want to puke in my shoes. It's okay. It's okay. Five years down the road, they'll be gone. I need to save some of my anger because we have an election tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's right. None of you falling in reverse fangirls are even old enough to vote. What the fuck am I saying? You'll probably write in Ronnie Radke on the ballot. Screw off. Have a good day.